Well, this video is specially for Heidi who wanted to know how we're getting on with our composting toilet. So here it is in place in the bathroom and I'll explain how it works. I just lift the lid and what you have is actually a normal toilet seat. It's a soft clothes seat, so all the luxuries. You then have the main part of it, which is a separator. So if you're female, you sit down, you go to the loo as normal and it separates liquids and solids into two separate sections. If you're male, please remember to lift the seat just to give you a slightly wider area to aim and then you aim at the blue splash guard. That means that it won't splash back up onto your legs as you're standing there having a wee. Um, this is one of the few composting toilets that you can actually use as a man standing up. Now I know you're dying to know what's under this next section so let me just close the lids again and I'll lift up the whole thing. So what you have is a bucket for solids and a bottle here that lifts out the liquids. So that's very easy to lift out and take an empty. That can go to any L sand point. It can be poured down a normal toilet um, or if you're out in the sticks, it's perfectly okay to use it to water the local trees and plants. Um, the solids bucket just has compost in it and it has a stirrer mechanism so if I press the button on the side you can see it just about stirring the compost so after you've been to the loo you chuck the toilet paper in there as well press the button and it always is round the most it ever smells of is just plain ordinary compost so let me put all the lids down the little button on the side I get the camera down you can just about see it in there now that lights up red when the liquid bottle is getting to be full so you don't overfill it but if there is a, a spillage an overfill situation then the whole bottom section is um, plasticky stuff it's one like extra holding bucket so you can just mop up anything that you need to moving on to the side let me move the door out the way we have here this is just a small 12 volt fan in this section that comes out through a charcoal filter here just to draw air over the compost to help dry it out and it just there are absolutely no smells I it's been over 36 degrees inside the boat some days and there's been no smell at all with the bucket the solids bucket you just take that out empty it double bag it and that can go into any any bin so just the CRT bins around here we use or you could use it to put on your own compost heap as long as it's hot composting um, then it's perfectly safe to then use on your garden so next time we have a house and you come around and you have homegrown veggies just beware of the compost um, so that that's our composting toilet it's been going really well an awful lot easier than emptying the old vacuum flush the vacuum flush cassette thing we had we'd need to empty the cassettes every day with this the liquids container we normally empty on a daily basis and the solids container once every five days but if we're not near a bin or anything it just stays double bagged and it can go into our, our gas locker at the front until we get to a bin um, I'd say at the most it all it ever smells like is damp compost so it's not unpleasant in any way shape or form and certainly nothing like the toilet smells that you get in caravans and things anyway hope you've enjoyed this short update video all about our composting loo um you never know it might inspire you to get one talk to you soon bye